Thank you for having me. My name is Laura and I'm a biodiversity informatician at Arizona State University and I'm also a full stack web developer. And for the past few years, I have been collaborating with the Symbiota Support Hub to develop new tools in the Symbiota software. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about a set of tools that I'm developing to help the independent assembly and publishing of taxonomic classifications. Uh, this has been a passion project for me for quite some time now, and I'm really happy to finally introduce that to you. But first, I just wanna do a brief background on why I created this. Well, I am a South American leaf beetle taxonomist specialized in neotropical beetles. And as I'm sure all of you know, taxonomy is really hard, especially if you work with hyperdiverse neotropical groups. The taxonomic history of these groups is often complicated, hard, or even impossible to track. There aren't enough digital resources to help, and type specimens are often inaccessible. If you're a scientist in training or someone starting with a group like the one I study, you have to rely on ancient publications. There are no other specialists to help you. There are no online faunas to look, no catalogs, no manuscripts, and sometimes the names aren't even available anywhere. You're dealing with what I like to call the dark biodiversity data, data that exists, but it isn't discoverable online. To a lot of aggregators, if it's not online, it doesn't exist. However, if you want to pioneer the digitization of some taxa, you're in trouble because you have to first create a taxonomic backbone from scratch, since all the software, like Symbiota or Specify, require a taxonomic backbone for you to place your digitized specimens. So thinking of these users um, and thinking that if I'm not a member of a thriving community of taxonomists with no funding, how can I contribute to existing taxonomic backbones if I'm not a member of those communities? Well, that's why I wanted to create this tool. Here are a few use cases that I hope to implement. Thinking of someone that wants to make several published taxonomic trees available online for both humans and computers because they're doing a sort of taxonomic alignment study where they want to compare different taxonomic classifications and their change throughout time. Or think of, of a user that wants to take a snapshot of a version of a taxonomic backbone using a Symbiota portal. Or maybe someone who wants to establish a Symbiota portal but needs to import a taxonomic backbone from scratch and they want to create one because they can't find one online. Thinking of all those use cases, I thought of this architecture for the set of tools. This diagram illustrates um, how the tools interact and their roles in the architecture. And on the left side here, you can see the curator tool, which is the front end client and the website that is visible to users where they can then assemble taxonomies and export them to the data sets or files, or they can save them to the aggregator. The aggregator is the backend and is responsible for making the bridge between the client and the database and also serves as an API to export data from the database to computers. This is a screenshot of a functional prototype that I'm developing in React.js, which is a JavaScript framework. And I just wanted to showcase how user-friendly and simple I want it to be. There isn't much to it, just an interface where you can, for now, just create and save new taxonomies. This other screenshot is from an early mock-up of the curator tool, where you can see there are three modes to create a desired taxonomy. The manual editor, where users can drag and drop um, scientific names from a search tool a harvest from URL or external sources and or upload a CSV or a spreadsheet. Harvesting from external sources will be possible at least with Symbiota portals because I'm developing a module for versioning Symbiota taxonomic 
backbones, which are also known as central thesaurus. And integration with major aggregators is also envisioned as soon as I can study their data models and their available open APIs. So it would be potentially as easy as picking an online source to just grab a copy of their taxonomic backbone and modify it and annotate it if desired. So this is another early mock-up of the curator tool where users can search for a particular taxon. Um, and this search would be powered by the existing aggregators like the Encyclopedia of Life or Catalog of Life, ITs and so on. And they could then either select existing taxa or create their own and add it to the desired tree. Once a user saves a taxonomy, they can then export it to a variety of formats. And I want to introduce as many formats as possible to help taxonomists in different contexts. So for instance, if you want to export your classification for computers, you can pick either JSON or XML, or if you are looking into publishing a taxonomy in a paper or your website, you can pick something like the HTML format or the rich text format, or you can even export your backbone into a Nexus uh, compliant software or Delta software to improve descriptions or even to provide systematic information. The aggregator tool is completely optional and independent. It's basically the application connecting the front end, which is the curator, with the database. And I'm envisioning some sort of user authentication layer so that users can publish taxonomies and then have unique identifiers that can be persistent and long lasting. The aggregator would also serve the curator tool for searches. So someone arriving at the curator tool could then look for uh, existing taxonomies before creating their own. This is just a screenshot of one of the JSON endpoints that I'm envisioning for the aggregator tool that I modeled in a Node.js prototype. Node.js is also JavaScript technology. I'm using in my data model Darwin core terms whenever possible. Uh, and other terms are going to be explained in a data model that will be made available. And I'm envisioning a few data points in the API for users to see all taxonomies, a single taxonomy, or to query taxonomies by scientific name, for instance. This, at the current moment, I'm developing a minimally functional prototype that I'll be posting on this GitHub repository that you can see in the URL in your screen. And since I've been doing this in an independent manner, I'd like to make it as collaborative as possible. So I'm asking anyone interested in helping me with any sort of contributions from suggestions and questions to code if you're able to, I'm asking you to just interact with me on GitHub in the discussions tab. This is what the discussions look like in GitHub. It's a relatively new feature where anyone with a GitHub account can post a discussion and start a topic. And those discussions can eventually become issues and um, even guide the development of the tools. Because this is very experimental and is still in an early development stage, I really wanna hear your thoughts. I'm also getting in touch with developers for biodiversity tools to leverage their open data and maybe establish some sort of collaboration because it doesn't make sense to do this in a bubble. I hope to publish an early beta version soon. I'd like to thank everyone. If you'd like to build this with me, please let me know. I'd like to thank the conference and the symposium organizers and everyone who reviewed my abstract and everyone who gave me suggestions, encouragement, or became a beta tester. Thank you all, and I hope to hear from you.